In this video, we are going to look at some more examples of DFA construction, especially we are looking at the complement representation of NFA. Uh, this becomes very useful when the question itself is given in a complement form. So what we can actually do is we can, we can actually uh, construct, uh, construct the DFA for the normal form and then easily convert it into its complement form. So let's look into it. Now, if you look at this question, it is design an FA to accept all binary strings that do not start with a zero. So since this do not close is there, it is a complement form. So the, the, that's why we call it as a complement form. So what will be the normal form? It will be like uh, design an FA to accept all binary strings that, can, that start with zero. So what we can do is we can actually design a DFA. We can actually design the DFA to identify the strings, all binary strings that start with zero, that start, that start with zero, we can design a DFA for that, and then and then take a complement of that. We will complement take a complement of that to obtain the the solution. So th that is our approach. That's going to be our approach. So you might have already studied about complements in in your discrete mathematics. So in set theory, you, you might have studied how to take the complement of a given set. So suppose I have a set called A, and if I want, if I want to find its complement, usually uh, the complements are represented by using A dash. If, if the given set is A, A dash represents its complement. So A dash is usually, um, the idea of A dash is like this. So suppose I am representing the Venn diagram. Suppose this is my set A. And this is my universal set represented by this big rectangle. So, so A complement will be everything outside of A. So all these portion will be your A complement. So, uh, and uh, this this, uh, the, 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 the same mathematical background is used in our, uh, in, in complementing our FAs, uh, finite automatas also. So let's look into it. So in, in, in theory of computation, we have studied that sigma star actually represents all, all, all possible strings, all possible strings. So given any alphabet set, all possible strings are represented, uh, all possible strings are represented using sigma star. So it is something similar to a universal set in, in TOC. So suppose if you are given, uh, uh, if you are asked the question to find uh, or to construct a DFA for a given language, uh, which has a complement for suppose uh, i am representing the language as l and and its complement of the language as lc right so now i can say that lc is going to be sigma star sigma star minus l so this is very important so so whenever you want to find the complement of a language uh, you are actually finding sigma star minus l because uh, so if if you are able to if you are able to define the normal form of that language, then it becomes very easy to find the, the complement of that language. Uh, it can be done by sigma star, take a difference of say uh, L from sigma star, that is sigma star minus L will give you the complement of that language. So there are some standard procedures for, um, you know, if you are, if you are able to design, design the DFA for, for this normal language, for this normal form, then it will be very easy, easy for you to design the DFA for the complement of <clears throat> the complement language. Now let us take, uh, let's look into this example itself and uh, understand how it is, it is going to be done. So as I have already told, what we can do is uh, we can actually design, uh, design a DFA for the normal form that is binary strings that start with zero. Okay, so, and after doing that, we can actually find its complement. So let, let's uh, let's uh, let's construct the DFA for binary strings that start with zero. So let's let's say our starting state is Q zero. So from Q zero, if I'm seeing a one, you know, start you know we, we want we want to start with zero. Okay, so if I'm seeing a zero, I will be I will be in a final state. And if after that, if if I'm seeing anything, I'm you know, if I can see anything after that, that is not a, no, no, not not an issue. Uh, and if you are seeing a one as the first alphabet, then it should not be accepted. So, uh, 
So this is my Q3, which is at that state. So upon seeing a one as the first alphabet, you are not going to accept it. So even if you see anything after that, you will be still in that dead state. So this is the this is the design for the normal form of the question. That is, uh, this this DFA can accept all the binary strings that start with a zero. Okay, now uh, now let's look into let's look at how we can convert it to, into its complement form and verify it. The procedure for uh, converting this uh, this DFA into its complement form uh, can be can be explained in, in uh, explained in steps as like this. You can actually look into this DFA. Uh, the transitions, all the transitions will remain the same. And what we will do is that we will make all the non-final states as final states. So what we do is we convert all the non-final states. All the non-final states will be converted to final states and vice versa. That is. Uh, all the final states, all the final states will be converted to non-final states. So that's it. You, you don't have to do anything with the transitions. The transitions will remain the same. Or the only thing that you need to do is you have to convert all the non-final states into final states and all the final states into non-final states. Let's, let's, let's do this for this particular example. Uh, so Q0, as you can see here, it's not a final state. So let, let's make it as a final state. Q0 becomes a final state here. And then Q1 is a final state here. Q1 is a final state. So we, we, are, not, we, are, we are going to make it as a non-final state. And then Q3 is not a final state here, but we are going to make it as a final state. So Q3 now becomes a final state. And you, you don't have to change any of the transitions. So it will be zero here. Uh, it will be one here. Uh, this is going to remain same, zero comma one. And this also will remain same, zero comma one. Also, there is no change in the, in the starting state. Q zero remains, remains to be your starting state. The only two things that you're doing is you're going to convert all the non-final states into final states and all the final states into non-final states. Now, now uh, let's, let's look at uh, the, the language accepted by this, uh, this DFA. So we can easily verify that it, it accepts epsilon because the starting state itself is a final state. So it accepts epsilon. And then uh, it will also accept, um, you know, it will not accept anything starting with zero. You can see it here. So, so if you are given with a string like zero, one, 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 something like that, it will not be accepting it. So, uh, it, it can, we can easily clearly verify that this this DFA will accept strings that start with that start with that doesn't start with zero. I should say that doesn't start with zero. So you can see that epsilon is also is is also not not a zero. That's why epsilon epsilon and all other strings all other strings all other strings that start that is uh, that is not starting with a zero so we can verify that uh, this DFA will accept all the all the other strings that that is not starting with the zero, so including epsilon, including epsilon. So that's why that's how we can design uh, design for these types of questions. So we will look at one more example. Okay, let us look. Uh, okay, let us look at this example. Uh, construct an FA that do not that do not contain zero one as a substring. So we can easily identify that this is a complement representation. And the normal representation would be construct an FA that contains zero one as a substring. So let, let's let's uh, let's look at the normal form. Uh, it will be like uh, construct an FA that contains zero one as a contains zero one as a substring. So we'll 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 design a DFA to accept strings that contain zero one as a as a substring. So once you've done that, we can actually design the complement. So let's look into it. 
So I think we have already seen this example, uh, the DFA that contains 0, 1 as a substring. Anyway, we'll design it once again. Uh, so let's let's say Q0 is our starting state. So from Q0, I want to see 0, 1. Okay, so upon getting a 0, I will move to Q1. And upon getting another 1, I will be moving to Q2. And Q2 is going to be one of, is, is going to be my final state. And in, in Q0, if you're seeing a, seeing a one, you are going to stay here. So as long as you get a zero, you will not move. So at Q0. So from Q0, if you see a zero, you'll be at Q1. And in Q1, if you again see a zero, you're going to stay back here. Okay, so if you're seeing a zero, you're going to stay here. Uh, and then if you get a one, you're going to proceed further. And from Q2, uh, you can see anything. You can, you can see either a zero or a one. So this is the this is a DFA. This is the DFA that contain that that will accept all the binary strings that contain zero one as a substring. So now let us uh, it, now it becomes very easy for us to design the DFA that do not contain zero one as a substring. The only thing that we need to do is convert all the final states into non-final states and all the non-final states into final states. So we can see that Q zero and Q one are are, are, are non-final states. Let's convert them into final states. So Q0 becomes a final state. Q1 becomes a final state. And Q2 becomes a non-final state. And all, all other things remain the same. All transitions remain the same. It is a one here. Uh, and then you have a zero here in this transition. You have a zero here in this transition. You have a one here. And you have a zero comma one here. Now we can verify this with some examples. Suppose uh, we are given the binary string one one zero zero. We can see that it doesn't contain zero one as a substring. So upon getting the, uh, let me take my pointers. Let me take my pointer and explain. So upon seeing this one here, uh, you, you know one one zero zero is the path that actually we want to trace. So one again one. Then go to see, then we are having a zero again again you are you are having a zero so you will be at q1 and that is a final state and this uh, 1100 zero, zero will be accepted because it doesn't contain zero one as a substrate so what about zero zero one one see look at here zero zero one one contains zero one as a substrate so it should not be accepted right so let, let's let's check it let's check it so let me take my pointer so if I if I'm seeing an initial zero, I'll be I'll be here, and then again I am seeing a zero, I'll be here, then I am seeing a one. Okay, I will be at Q2. From Q2, I'm I'm again seeing a one, but I will stay at Q2. So this string, this string, what happens to this string? This string will not be accepted. So because it contains a zero. Similarly, similarly, you can also verify that all these strings you can see that zero one is present here. Uh, there is uh, zero one present here. In all these three examples, in all these three examples, zero one is present as a substring. So all these three strings will not be accepted by this DFA. You can also check with strings that doesn't contain zero one as, a, as zero one. For example, look at one 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 zero. So if you, if you are looking at one 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 zero, you can you can easily verify that. You can easily verify that. As long as you are getting ones, so you, you have three ones here, so one, 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 and again a zero, it will be getting accepted because it doesn't contain zero one as a substrate. Okay. Now, uh, this is going to be your assignment set two on DFA construction. So the first question is uh, to construct a DFA that accepts all the strings, that accepts all the strings on zero except those containing the substring 001. So what you can actually do is you can actually uh, construct a DFA for accepting strings that contain that contain the substring as substring 001 and then produce its complement. Remember, this is asked in your, in your uh, university question, uh, December 2017 for five mark. You can also try this question, uh, construct a DFA that accepts all the strings on AB such that such that they do not con they do not end in BAA. Such that they do not end in BAA. So what you can do is you can construct all construct a DFA for accepting all the strings that end in BAA, and then convert it convert it into its complement form. 
Thank you.